Hello and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections with me, Andrea Onduko. And um, with, along with my husband, we passed the Chapel of Grace, which is a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford in West Yorkshire. And I'm really blessed and happy to be with you today. And I pray for you as you watch this program today that you will receive a message that will change your life in Jesus' name. Today's topic is the light of the world. And the Bible passage is John chapter 1, verse 4 to 9. And it says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Remember verses John chapter 8 verse 12. It says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We all know the importance of light. Without light, darkness reigns, but once light is introduced, darkness disappears. I pray that everything that represents darkness in your life is destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Because for a child of God, there is no darkness, because we know that light and darkness, they cannot go together. And we have just read that Jesus is the light of the world. So when he's in your life, he's the light of the world and he's the light of your life. And when the light of God is shining, darkness cannot comprehend it. Your light and your glory will shine forth in the name of Jesus. Jesus told us directly that he is the light of the world and anyone who follows him will not walk in darkness. Are you following Jesus at this time? Have you given your life to him? If you are, then you cannot still be walking in darkness. Are you claiming to be following Jesus, but maybe you're still hiding something in the corner of your life? Are you following Jesus and you're still somehow attached to the world? Are you following Jesus and you're not bringing forth fruit of repentance? Today you can change your ways. You have heard that there cannot be light and darkness in the same vessel. If you want the light of life, which Jesus only can offer, then accept Jesus and your, as your Lord and personal Savior today and be humble to accept the offer of salvation. From the inception of the world, God saw that there was utter darkness on the face of the deep. And the first thing that God commanded was, let there be light, and there was light. Light is very important, as without light, there is no substance that can exist on the planet Earth. Even plants need light to grow. The whole world is working assiduously and spending billions of dollars to find a sustainable means of energy generation and management to power the various countries. Because without light, no meaningful activity can take place. Now that sounds similar to your life. Without the light of God in your life, uh, worthwhile activities cannot have the same effect and power that they can have when God's light is behind them. The world is not only darkened by lack of power, but darkened because of the evil in the hearts of men. That is why God wants us to keep following Jesus and continue to shine our light in any area that we find ourselves. You remember in the Gospels the example that was given to us that we should not hide our light under, under a box, that we should let our light shine that everyone can see the glory of God. So anywhere in your life where maybe there's not light, you're seeing darkness, then it's an error. And that error needs to be corrected. And so make sure today that you drive darkness out of your life. As God is the light of the world, He should be the light of your life. So I want you to pray with me today that, Father, You are the light of the world. Let the light of your gospel shine in every heart, community, and nation in Jesus' name. So you are praying for light in your life, light in your neighborhood, your community, and indeed light in the whole of the nation. And we know that God, he cannot fail. And so there will be light in all these areas in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.